of the Lava Beds National Monument. It's December 8th, 2016. I'm at the parking for Hopkins Chocolate and Garden Bridges. It's about 11.30 a.m. So notice, got a couple inches of snow last night. I'm the first person to explore this cave today. I have no idea. It's not very busy this time of year, which is kind of sad because this is the time of year when most of the caves are open. There's only a few caves closed for uh, bats hibernating during the summer. So there's garden bridges. That one's usually closed in the summer. There's all sorts of little bridges here. Um, because of all the snow, it's obviously very slippery, so I'm gonna be careful and stay out of there. Looks like there's a surface tube, a small surface tube up there. But down here, okay, here's the entrance to Hopkins Chocolate. Notice the ground is kind of steep here. I mean, I'm going down like a, I don't know, five or 10 degree angle here, which, you know. Okay. Wow, there's a strong wind down here. So uh, this is the garden bridges ahead of me. Turn around here. This is the actual cave. Uh, Hopkins chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. I have to turn on a flashlight. Oops. There we go. So let me put this flashlight down. This is my dim flashlight for safety. I'll get out a brighter flashlight for uh, the camera to pick up. All right. Let's see what we can find in this cave. Notice there's a trail. I'm going to stay on the trail. Now this cave is kind of cold, so I would expect to see a bat. So I'm going to try to keep an eye out for bats. If I see a bat, I'll have to turn off my bright light so I don't disturb it. So far, notice the dirt on the side there. I'm not even sure if that's what we're looking for or not. Let's see, if you look at the side here, it looks like there's dripping. Like it formed dripping and then froze. I think that's why it's called Hopkins Chocolate Cave. Like farther on, there's brown colored rock that looks like that. So it looks like chocolate flowy. Could have just as easily called it Candle Wax Cave or something, but whatever. Wow, see how brown it is here? and. So there's obviously a trail to the right. I'm gonna stay on the trail. Break down to the left. So here the cave splits in two. There's a vertical uh, second layer up there and a lower level here. I'm gonna to stick to the lower level, obviously. Couldn't get up there if I tried. Of course, if you're feeling really ambitious, could crawl back there. Sure, it's just that same room I was just in. So, oh wow, here's a pillar in the middle of the way. So I can go right or left. It looks taller to the right. And I'm feeling lazy, so I'm gonna go to the right here. Oops, try not to touch anything. Wow, this cave is steep. So look, the, I'm on a slope of here, and then there's like a lava fall just ahead of me. Wow, it echoes in here. Yeah, look how steep this is. I'm going down. 
is several feet here. It's not too dangerous. There's plenty of texture to get a good grip, but still, it is wet. Definitely want to wear shoes with good traction. Oh boy, let me uh, put on some gloves. Looks like I'm gonna need to use my hands. Take off my backpack too. <sighs> ah, steps in a puddle. really stooped down low but at least the floor here is nice and smooth so it's not gonna hurt my knees or shins too badly There's another, hold on, let me get my backpack on. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna, so this is where I just crawled through here. Well, not crawled, sort of waddled like a duck. There, it's another upper level. Here it's coming down to just about six feet tall. It's more of that sort of chocolate flow marks here. Interesting. Wow, look at all the gold colored stuff on the ceiling. It's just like Golden Dome Cave, which is actually right next to this cave anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna stay on the trail so I don't cause too much damage, but wow. There's a little tiny side passage back there. It looks like it was really far, it was way too small for a person. Interesting. But yeah, there's this gold colored bacterium all over the place. Quite a bit of texture on the wall here. See if I can show that with the shadows. See how it looks broken here, but that's natural. That's not from people touching it. That's like how it formed. It's like a piece broke off when it was still mostly liquid, but viscous, very thick. <laughs> <laughs> 